Hey guys, it's status report time. Pretty much just going through uh, the On3 Performance Turbo Kit installation. Uh, the video series is essentially done. Uh, there's that block of five videos. Now, of course, that doesn't mean I'm not going to post any more videos in regards to the kit. I am going to do kind of like a final bonus video, just pretty much just finalizing everything on my car, fastening the front bumper back on, putting the hood back on. Uh, the first start, um, um, the tuning and finishing out the exhaust kit, um, pretty much those little things I am going to cover in another video, so stay tuned for that. But the essentials of the uh, installation of the kit are done. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video series, but there's still a lot more to come on, on, on everything, really, in regards to my Fox body, so definitely stay tuned to that. Um, so a status report, cars are essentially done, everything's put together except for uh, fastening the front bumper on. Um, I did have to make uh, two new um, intercooler brackets because um, location-wise it was just up too high and uh, the pipe wasn't mating up properly uh, to the pipe that goes from the throttle body down to the inner fender. So I just moved, all I did literally was just move the intercooler down about uh, probably four inches maybe because I had it up pretty high if you guys remember. Maybe not even that that much. Maybe it was only like two and a half, three inches. But anyway, you understand the point. All I did was drop it down a little bit lower, and um, I'll have to make some new brackets. It's going to be the exact same way I made my previous brackets. It's just going to be a little longer. That's all. So essentially, I need to make those. It'll take about probably an hour to uh, make those, and then, of course, paint them to make them look pretty. And then... Um, uh, getting the car started. And um, I did want to tell you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing um, tuning-wise for my car. Originally, if you watched my reveal, I showed you a Pro M Mass Air Meter. It's a blow-through tube that was calibrated for my 60-pound injectors. Originally, I was going to take the car and take it to a dyno and have it professionally tuned. And um, I was going to use the Mass Air setup. And we, all we were going to do is use a, uh, a chip and burn a chip and put it onto the factory ECU. Now, that probably would have been just fine for my setup. It probably would have been driving okay. But um, wide open throttle probably would have been fine. But any changes whatsoever if... Uh, you know, decided to run methanol if I decided to uh, change the boost level. Essentially, that just voids everything I just did, and I need to go ahead and retune. So essentially, I, the way I'm going, I'm going to pretty much bypass all this and make it a do-it-yourself kind of tuning uh, tuning thing. So guys, I'm going to uh, pretty much dis ditch the mass air setup on my car. I already bit the bullet and, of course, bought the mass air meter, and even I bought a uh, math flange to weld onto the pipe because, again, I was going to do it. But I, de I decided to change my mind pretty much midstream. And, of course, um, you know, I, I, I just figured, I wish I would have thought of this, you know, a month before I purchased the kit and purchased, started purchasing everything. Just because, you know, I would save myself some money. And, of course, that blow-through mass air meter is brand new. It's still got the flow sheet and everything. And it's pretty much been untouched except just to show you guys out of the box what it looks like. That's going to be for sale. And if you guys are interested and want that... Um, Hit me up, and I'll give you guys a killer deal because I'm not going to be able to use it. Also, if you're looking for a math flange to weld onto a custom cold air pipe or something along those lines, I have one for sale as well. Again, I'll give you a great deal on it. I need to get rid of this stuff. So if you're interested, let me know. All right, on to how I'm going to tune the car. So essentially, ditching the mass air and factory ECU, I'm going with this. See if you can see that here. That's right, I'm going with a micro squirt. Micro squirt is essentially the smaller version and um, less featured version of the mega squirt setup. They've been around forever, and the cool thing about the micro squirt is that it this kit here is essentially built for my car. <clears throat> Again, the micro squirt you can use for a, a series of vehicles, not just Mustangs, but this one here, this kit that I purchased was for an 87 to 93 Fox body. Cool thing is about this is that it comes with not only the ECU, comes with this. This adapter piece right here plugs directly into the factory harness, even has the correct 10 millimeter accept accepting area, uh, the female end for the bolt, and then just plugs directly into the micro squirt. Seriously, it just literally plugs into right there. That's it. And um, it has extra wires that you can uh, wire in like your um, AFR fuel, uh, your AFR gauge, and uh, um, I believe you can do uh, fans and I think uh, maybe your methanol injection kit. I'm not sure, but it does have some extra wires. I think it's three extra wires that you can pretty much use to wire in the essentials. Now, I am going to wire in. Um, I do have an, um, an Innovate LC2 wideband that I'm going to be wiring in. You essentially need a wideband to be able to tune with this kit. But, yeah, it just plugs directly into your factory ECU area. And it's got this little adapter port here. Audio port. 
and then you run from the audio port to this uh, serial adapter that goes to a laptop. Now a lot of laptops these days of course don't have serial ports anymore so if you have a, a more uh, newer laptop you're going to want to pick up one of these. This is essentially a serial to USB adapter and that uh, the serial will plug in here and then that will essentially run directly to a laptop. Now uh, the only problem that I've heard from other people is that um, sometimes they don't have their appropriate drivers uh, ready on their laptop in order to make the uh, computer talk to the laptop so and to make all the connections work so you need to uh, download the appropriate drivers cool thing with this I believe I bought this from DIYtuning.com comes with this um, tells you where you can download the appropriate drivers and you're good to go tuning wise I'm picking I picked up uh, I'm going to pick up I should say I'm gonna pick up a uh, tuner studio I uh, believe that's an additional probably $70 option to uh, download that software and uh, that's what we're going to use to tune the car. Now I haven't purchased that yet. That's actually going to be purchased probably later down the road. Uh, my buddy Derek who's actually um, tuned, he's, he's the guy who painted my car. He's actually run the micro squirt on a few other cars and um, they love it and he's used uh, Tuner Studio for all that tuning and everything like that. So he's already got it on his computer. We're going to use that essentially to the car to uh, get its first start. We're also going to, he's going to help me do a little street tuning on it to be able to, for me to drive the car home. Then I can purchase the, um, the Tuner Studio and then I can go do some uh, data logging and tuning, uh, you know, once I'm ready to dial the car in. Um, so all this here is a really economical option. What is going to uh, cost for me to take the car up north to get it dynoed? I was going to have to purchase the chip and then have the dyno uh, tuning sh uh, session. It's going to cost me around 725 bucks, which in reality, not that bad for tuning and, and the installation of a chip and buying the chip. So that's going to cost me 725 bucks. However, the only drawback is, is that if you make any changes to your Mustang, after the fact that you get the car tuned, uh, if you want to run more boost, if you want to uh, add methanol injection, you're pretty much limited until you go and get it retuned. So that's another $500 for a tuning session. So the money keeps adding up if you keep on adding changes to your uh, setup. The cool thing with this, this uh, micro squirt setup here, is that you're ready to go and you can make adjustments pretty much on the fly. As um, long as you've got a laptop and you can uh, uh, have the any kind of reasonable computer skills and you start understanding the programming you can add a part or add boost and then just make the appropriate adjustments the car does not will not use mass air anymore it will use a map sensor this comes with the tuning kit it's really cool all it does is that you take your factory map sensor get it out of your car cut the three wires that are on the factory harness splice these three wires in and then mount this on your firewall plug in a boost line I'm sorry uh, plug in a vacuum line here and then run it to the uh, open open vacuum line on on your vacuum tree that's located on the firewall. That's it. It's pretty much just reference based off vacuum and boost. And then you make your adjustments pretty much directly into your laptop. And you burn it and save it. And you got it in your ECU and your car's ready to go. It's really cool. All this stuff here for me. I purchased the, uh, again, this was a kit. This micro squirt kit here was um, for an 86 to 93 Fox Body Mustang. Came with the micro squirt adapter, plug in for your um, serial to the audio jack, map sensor, $475 for all that plus shipping. So that's really, really good price. Now, um, the additional adapter here was an additional $30, I believe. And um, a good thing to have, especially if you have a more new edge laptop and you need the ability to plug USB in. Really cool. That was an additional $30. You are gonna have to use a wide band in order to tune the car properly so we can check your air fuel, make sure you get the appropriate timing and make sure you got the proper fuel and um, you're gonna need a wide band. So that's gonna be an additional 200 to 250 depending on which brand you go with. I have a um, uh, Innovate LC2 I believe. And that cost me around 200 bucks. I picked that up from LMR. So if you want one of those, of course, if you uh, pick up a promo code from them, you can get a little cheaper as well. 200 bucks, and go ahead and throw yourself in a boost gauge because you know if you're going to be running boost, you want to check that boost level, see, make sure you're making appropriate boost, and you can also check vacuum on the fly, of course, on a gauge. Throw in an extra 50 bucks there. <clears throat> so, guys, you're looking less than 800 dollars for everything, and you can tune the car essentially unlimitedly with the more parts you add down the road. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff, and uh, I can't wait to actually get this in the car. Again, I'm gonna. My video series is pretty much done, but the videos are gonna keep coming for what I'm gonna be doing with the with the Mustang. So I'm gonna have a video, of course, showing the installation of this. 
along with a little tuning session and pretty much getting the car on the ground and ready to drive home. I'm gonna cover all that for you guys, of course. So it's not done, it's just the video series for the basic installation is done. Well guys, there's still a lot to do, but we're in the home stretch here. We're in the final days of getting the turbo kit completely done and my car tuned. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to having some fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to a drag strip this year. Um, of course, we're in um, kind of mid-September now already, which is kind of crazy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, try to do my best here. Um, of course, with the cooler weather, the car is going to run great. Uh, I'm just hoping that you know we can have a, a good full tuning session here to get it running, and then we can dial it in and then be able to drive it to a drag strip. That's what I'm hoping. That's my goal. If I don't make it to a drag strip this year, I'm, I would be disappointed. But at the same time, I did do a lot here in the last month and a half, really, to get this thing going. So that's my goal. Uh, we'll see if that does happen or not. And, of course, I'll get some drag strip videos if I do go this year. But essentially, we'll, we'll have some fun with it. And, of course, uh, I'm going to do a full review of the installation and pretty much a full review of the parts and everything. Of course, after the car is running, I'll give you guys my uh, my take on everything, essentially, top to bottom. Um I really don't have any complaints at this point, um, but I am going to go over all the little things that um, I did have to do extra that I may not have covered in the installation video itself. But there are a few things here and there that I do want to talk about and bring up as, uh, as points in regards to the installation. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this little status report update. Uh, we got some more cool stuff ahead and, uh, and uh, definitely stay tuned for all that. We'll see you soon.